All right, we're going to start. If you're still in line, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you just can listen through the door or something. Uh, yeah, so this is our agenda. Welcome to SACDSM. Uh, we're going to do some news and stuff here. And then afterwards, uh, Tom's going to come up and do a talk about how he met your printer. I hear it's going to be awesome. Um, then after that, it's more social time. And after that, I'm assuming we're probably going to Star Bar. Whatever. All right. We'll probably go to Star Bar after this. That's what usually happens. You want to do that? Or am I just doing it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm supposed to be vocal about the shut the fuck up room. That's back there. When, when you're up here, you're watching talks, you're listening to people, so just be respectful. Um, on top of that, it's a rated R event, so shut the fuck up up here. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not touch any of this equipment, ever. There's, there's no excuse for it. Um, code of conduct. If you have any questions or have experienced harassment, uh, these are the three board members. Come talk to us. Talk to anybody who you think might be a regular. Uh, there's tons of us around here, but mostly just us. Uh, if you have if you have issues or concerns, uh, you can report it on Discord, in person, admin at secdsm.org. Uh, j yeah, just don't be afraid to report something if you're feeling uncomfortable. We want to be welcome to everybody. Hmm? Yes, except my friend on Discord who posted a a link. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, challenge ideas, not people. Stolen from Set KC. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is the way that I always embody this: is that you and I can have an argument. I don't care who you are, but we're still going to be friends at the end of the day, right? Like, we don't take it personally. I'm not challenging you as a person. No, I'm, I'm challenging some ideas, and we welcome that, right? That's how we learn. This can be mutually beneficial in that agreement. But that's the whole concept. And that's how I personalize challenge ideas, not people. Yeah, he says it better than me. Uh, once again, board members, you can reach out to us on email, Discord. Do not reach out to us on Slack. It will not get. It it will not be seen. Slack, right there. Yeah. That was my fault. I I did the 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 uh, PowerPoint today. <laughs> uh, volunteers, thank you, James. Thank you. Thank you, anyone who helps. Uh, Brandon, Brandon this week, he helped with the mini CTF. Uh, so volunteers, we always need them. Anyone who helps with the chairs, anyone who helps get CTF set up, anyone who helps get uh, sponsors set up, uh, we always need that. Uh, ways you can help, once again, be a speaker, create a CTF, uh, volunteer, and mostly volunteers, like, help set up the chairs or... When we need help, we usually ask for it. Just, you know, speak up. Donations, and then, uh, you know, find us people who can donate. Find us sponsors who want to work with us. Find us uh, people who want to sponsor CTFs tonight, like Sentinel-1. Uh, shout out to our friends. What was, I, I've never seen this one. Craig. Yes, you have. So first of all, somebody apparently knows how we can like turn these lights off a little bit. Jared mentioned it. I don't know how. Then it would make it so you can read that easier. But so this slide used to have some major sponsors, major contributors who bought a not small amount of alcohol from this fine establishment. And because they bought that alcohol from this fine establishment, we got free rental space from this fine establishment. So you or vendors you work with, if you want to buy some bottles of booze to give out to your friends, keep for yourself, your customers, whoever, uh, if you say you're doing it because of us, then we can benefit from that. So you can have your name or logo there if that is you. I hear there is uh, maybe someone in the works not finalized yet for this year, uh, but if you know anybody, uh, Yes, we need some major contributors to be on that slide. 
I have one more thing to add with that. Um, so last year we had some expensive barrel whiskey options. Uh, this year there's some more affordable options. You just you don't get to customize the barrels, right? Uh, so the the options now there's four levels. They range from like quarter of a barrel, half a barrel, like three quarters or so, and then a full barrel. And the key is that now they um, they're already made. So people familiar with the foundry, they've been around for a little while, but not a, a crazy long time. So it used to be you would purchase the barrel and you would have to wait, if you wanted bourbon, two years to get your bourbon because that's how long it takes to make bourbon at the minimum, right? Well, now they've got enough fine product in their warehouse that you get the custom label and all that other stuff, but now you don't have to wait two years. You can walk out with it as soon as you buy it. We still have major contributors waiting. <laughs> uh, transparency report. Food is, I don't know why you put a box around it. Uh, food is by Casey's uh, within the last few months, so they've been sending this pizza. The space is Sac DSM. You guys uh, buying drinks. Obviously, tonight we have a great sponsor. Uh, so Sentinel One is helping us with the venue tonight. Drinks is Sentinel One tonight, and the sponsor is Sentinel One tonight. Uh, financial transparency, so you guys can go on Open Collective. You can see all of our uh, purchases, all of our donations made to us. Um, we're completely open. There, there's a bit of a lag to to when it all get up, when it all gets updated, but it will get updated in there. Uh, and then the mini CTF this month was a little bit different. Uh, so Sentinel One sponsored the CTF. It's like a blue team simulation, and I think it's still open. Right, you just can't win a prize anymore. So you can still go sign up and do it. All right, so the way I understand it, and Brandon can correct me if I'm wrong, but there are, so most of us participated this afternoon. The prize awarding has already concluded. I don't know, did, uh, did Brandon, there, there, there's our first place winner. Everybody turn and look. All right, so the prizes. The prize has been awarded, but there are still opportunities. So if you did not register already, we have five or six dummy accounts that we've already provisioned that you can use to log in and play it. Um, if you have already registered, but maybe you were actually working or you know something like that, couldn't participate, um, I asked them to keep it open until at least the end of the SecDSM meeting. So if you have a laptop and you're interested in checking it out, it's really cool. I've never used Sentinel-1 before, and I was really impressed with it. It's a... Uh, it's really neat, so I encourage you to check it out. It's posted, on Discord. it's posted on Discord now, which you should all be in already if you're not. Yeah, get off of Slack if you're on there. Uh, upcoming events, I'm not going to read all of these, but uh, if you guys are interested in going to any of these, uh, check out, we have an events and cons channel on Discord. Uh, if you just hop in there and say, hey, I'm interested in this conference, I'm sure someone else is, or if they're not, you can start a group. I think we currently have a group for CypherCon, KernelCon, ThoughtCon, um, CircleCityCon. So there's one extra free ticket for CircleCityCon right now. Uh, Black Hat DefCon, which, like, I don't think there's any limit to that. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to keep reading these. You, you guys know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why this is still in here. We've been on Discord for like a year and a half at this point. There is no more Slack. Just come to Discord. We're all here. We're all hanging out. We talk about talk a lot about Miatas. Pretty cool. Cars. Uh, James, you're up. Yeah, we need a cool. Yeehaw. Good, that's way better. Then you guys can read that book I posted up there. We good? All right, news for the month. So, uh, LastPass, uh, I hope nobody's using LastPass anymore. But if you are using LastPass, they announced a second hack. And uh, this has been a big deal this, this week because BYOD was an issue. So, the first attack, I believe they say wrapped up in August. And the second attack, they're claiming, is from August to October. Uh, but it was essentially... The original attack, they stole a whole bunch of encryption keys for the cloud environment and didn't have the decryption keys for those. 
So the attackers figured out that uh, those decryption keys were stored in a manager account that the DevOps engineers had. There was only four DevOps engineers that had access. So the attacker attacked one of the DevOps engineers on his personal machine that had access into his corporate account, uh, hacked in with, uh, it is discussed in here at the bottom with a vulnerable third-party media software package. The news that's out right now is Plex. So Plex got compromised about two weeks after LastPass did originally back in August. And uh, it looks like they used Plex to get in on this uh, developer's machine and pwned his account. So that is the second massive attack. And this one had uh, customer data in it. I think originally they claimed there weren't any customer vaults, but the second one was uh, both corporate account or corporate vaults and, and customer vaults. So if you're using LastPass, I'd suggest uh, one password. Yes, and reset your MFA. Uh, the White House actually put this out uh, this morning, I believe. Uh, the, we've been waiting on the Biden-Harris administration to put out a cybersecurity strategy. This finally dropped this morning. Uh, I had a super busy day at work, so I haven't read through it all. But they essentially broke down into these five basic pillars, and the document's going to be posted out there. So this is a big one for everybody. Uh, as we see movement, the commercial side's going to get impacted, just like government does as they flow down. I uh, didn't put it in here, but CISA actually put out a memo uh, this week or last week as well about new incident response and uh, network security monitoring. So there's, it's come down with a memo also that CISA is requiring government organizations to do um, massive amounts of packet capture. So that's going to have a serious impact. So if you're a vendor that works with government, you should be seeing that. And this is stuff we assume may trickle down. And as expected, they actually called out ransomware as a national security threat. Uh, if you haven't heard this one, you're probably living under a rock too, but <laughs> Hyundai and Kia had an issue where they're claiming they're going to be able to do a software update, but in the uh, OBD port, if I'm remembering correctly, on the machine, um, you could actually crack the port open, and if you stick a USB-A plug in there, you could turn the car on. So this got popularized on TikTok as the Kia challenge, and people have been stealing cars, so I think this was... And if somebody knows, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they did a recall on 4 million cars um, of a problem. And they're claiming there's a software way to do this update that'll stop that from happening. So it'll be entertaining if they actually pull that off. But if you want to, if you own a Kia and want to steal it, it's really not going to be that hard to steal your own car. They need to or they did? They just, they're charging money for the update? Oh my God. All right. That's awesome. That's even better. Beta testing vehicles one day at a time. Um, this one's semi-security related with all the Russia-Ukraine stuff going on. This is a neat story, and I put the link in there. It's actually an interview with one of the engineers in the Ukraine. But uh, Russia has been deploying a whole bunch of drones. Uh, the Ukrainian troops have been knocking them down, and there's a whole group of people who are actually digging into these drones and checking them out. So there's a cool, cool, fun interview with one of the engineers that uh, you should read through if you're interested. And uh, it's just hilarious to see all this go down the way it is with all the drone tech. Uh, and I believe there are Iranian drones as well that, uh, that Russia has been using and compared to uh, DJIs that, that Ukraine's using to just drop grenades and through sunroofs of cars. Uh, and then four quick hits real fast. Uh, NSA shared guidance on how to secure your home network. Uh, it's actually a reasonable guide. I had to go look at it because originally I put it on here because I was going to make fun of it because the NSA sharing guidance on how to share your home network just makes me laugh because, you know, they have everyone's best interest at heart and they don't want to have access to your data. Uh, GoDaddy got hacked in a multi-year breach, so take a look at that one. Uh, hackers are now using fake GPT apps, so if you're using chat GPT and looking at that, be careful uh, because it's getting infected. And the FBI actually had a security breach a couple weeks ago in the New York office. And the ex-Iowa uh, FBI agent that runs that New York office, I don't think has said anything and nobody's reached out. But it'd be entertaining to get his look on things. Um, and that is it. And then we normally like to do jobs at the end. Um, if you are hiring for a position, come on up here. Let us know who you are, where you work for, what you're looking for and uh, give everybody an idea. And if you post the job, if you can throw it in our jobs channel and in Discord and that type of thing. Uh, I actually work at, um, I run the Threat Intel team at Hunter Strategy. We're a uh, DC consultancy and MSSP. We're actually building up our security business and swapping to a 24-7 SOC. So we've got a, uh, several SOC positions open. Uh, they do require you being on site or moving down to Florida. So if anybody's looking to move to Florida Man State and live down there, we would love it. It is entry level, so it is only requiring a security plus uh, clearable if possible. 
because we work with a lot of government clients. The reason you have to be on site is because you'll be working in a SOC we're building down there with a SCIF. So if you're looking or you know people getting ready to graduate, that type of thing, shoot, uh, shoot me a note on Discord. It's under my name. Or uh, just let me know. Otherwise, I want to open it up. So I'm actually on the other side of the coin. Uh, I am on the looking for job side of that slash mark. Uh, <laughs> Live interview. <laughs> I'll answer any questions. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name's Logan. Uh, my last gig was as a senior associate with RSM's penetration testing team. Uh, I am currently looking for work primarily in the uh, penetration testing offensive security space. Uh, I have a background in cloud architecture and dev. Uh, so if you, if anyone here has a job that they think uh, might be a fit, feel free to uh, come find me or hit me up. Uh, I'm at the Todd Lucio on Discord and everywhere else. Uh, Uh, so he asked uh, if I had done DevOps, and uh, I did development, just traditional software dev, uh, and that role eventually evolved into leading the cloud transformation uh, for a company, migrating everything from on-prem to the cloud. So that included you know, some DevOps work, some automation work, uh, and then rewriting some applications, cloud native, that sort of thing. Yeah. At the Todd Lucio. <laughs> All right, no problem. Thank you. Anybody else? Nobody? There's like 100 people here. There's, there's no way. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm Peter. I'm from Kansas City. I work for a company called Spider Oak. I'm mostly just introducing myself because I'm in the middle of writing a job description. Let me talk. All right, here we go. My name is Peter. I am from Kansas City. I work for Spider Oak. Uh, I'm here to introduce myself because I'm in the middle of writing a job description. We're looking, we'll be looking for, not posted, obviously, uh, yet, but we're looking for an inside security engineer, somebody to work uh, parallel with ops, DevOps, and IT. Um, I'm not going to put my Discord or anything down this time, but find me tonight as I get, you know, more inebriated, <laughs> if you're interested, and uh, we'll talk. Maybe you can help me write a job description. Blue team side or red team side? So, neither. Neither blue or red, more in the middle? All right. Hello everyone, Ben Meter, Technology Security Director at EMC Insurance. I've got two positions that I want to talk about. One is an application security engineer we're looking for, and two is a security architect. And if I had uh, started, bought one of these barrels at the beginning of my job search for a security architect, it might be ready by about now. So I'm looking for somebody who really wants to make an impact, kind of be my right-hand person on helping to define the, the security strategy from a technology perspective at EMC. There's plenty of cool opportunities and cool people, Craig being one of them, that work with me. And so stop by and see me. Well, I don't know. We'll see. All right, thanks. Don't tell everybody I have to work with Craig. <laughs> you know, you can fix that if you just post the position about, you know, six, seven hundred grand a year. We could probably find your own. Anybody else? Going once? Going twice? All right, that's it. We'll wrap this up. Uh, agenda for next month, 101 in the news. Um, looks like... Matt said he would do this, but you should tell him how much you want to hear his talk. All right. Every, everyone yell at Matt Depp on Discord and tell him we want him to do a talk. Slow down. Put that on the display. All right. Sorry, I just clicked back where I need All right. to be. Yeah. Now you can read that. All right. Matt Depp, as in Matt from Iowa City, said he would do a talk, but only if everybody encourages him. So everybody shoot him a note on Discord and tell him we want to hear him talk. All right. Uh, Tom, how long do you want for break? What, do you, what time do you need for setup? 7.15? All right. We'll give everybody 15, 17 minutes, and we'll go there. I do have a quick question. Uh, raise your hand if this is your first time at SecDSM. Sweet. So we would like to buy you a drink. Just go to the bar, and you'll get it. <laughs>